I am a strategy lead in biotech affairs and regulatory here at DuPont Pioneer. And what that means is that I'm working on a number of traits to bring them through the regulatory process and commercialize them really in the most efficient means possible. So we're uh, making sure all the correct studies are done to demonstrate safety of these new transgenic genetically modified traits and looking for global biotech acceptance and the green light to go ahead and commercialize not just in the United States but around the world. My ag experience goes back from, I guess, birth. So I grew up on a farm in southwest Minnesota, corn, soybeans, hogs. Uh, eventually I went to the University of Minnesota for my undergrad and then eventually on to South Dakota State and University of Florida for my master's and PhD in agronomy, so plant, soils, crop production. Between my undergrad and going to my master's program, I spent a few years in the United States Peace Corps. So I was in Cameroon, Central Africa, and again, very related to agriculture, I worked at a vocational technical school where our job was to take the book learning from that school and try to push it out to the surrounding villages and basically emulate the extension service that the United States land-grant universities are so good at. Once I got to the Peace Corps in Cameroon, Central Africa, uh, my interest in agriculture really ratcheted up a few notches because, you know, I have, I've had the nice opportunity to be able to compare really high production agriculture in North America uh, in large farms with uh, subsistence agriculture in Cameroon. And with subsistence agriculture, the, the risk management uh, questions take on a whole new meaning because if the farmers don't produce a crop, they might go hungry. There's no, there's no safety net in most parts of Africa. There's no insurance that they can pay for. There's a, this dual problem of limited access to good inputs like good seed or fertilizer or crop protection products. And then even if they could produce a excess uh, production, uh, there's a lack of market access, so they, there's no way to sell it. So that really got me going as far as wanting to extend my education further in agriculture. There is never a dull moment. There is always something new going on that you have to think about, you have to address new challenges, new opportunities. So it's really exciting. There's never been a day where I have a hard time getting out of, the, getting out of bed wondering, oh boy, what am I going to do today? It never hurts to, to study hard and have good grades because the better your grades are, the more experience you have in agriculture, the more opportunities and options are going to be available for you. Don't be afraid of trying new things. You know, if you're growing up on a farm and every summer uh, you've been home on the farm uh, helping the family, which is great. It's an experience that not too many kids get anymore, so that's wonderful. But maybe for an internship once you get to undergrad, look for something off the farm to divers diversify your experiences. Something new uh, opportunity comes your way, just think about it. Let it settle a while. Think about how it might help your career, help the company, help farmers, um, and just let it sit for a while before you make a decision. Uh, so just be thoughtful be open to other people's ideas, be open to other people's diversity, because the diversity is what really makes things work well. If you can take advantage of all the diversity that's around you, whether it's people's thoughts, people's backgrounds, then things can move forward.